All right, I want to do the first ever answer fan questions. All right, so there was a question from Grandizer. He was asking about what was my reaction about Charles Amenu signing with the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, my reaction was I seen it coming, you know. I didn't expect him to come back. I thought his price range was probably going to be too much for us to retain him. But realistically, I still think he's ascending. You know, ascending means he was emerging. Like, when we first acquired him from the Houston Texans in that trade, he was coming into his own later in the season in the playoffs. He was producing. He got pressure to the Cowboys, got a sack. And then the following season, he started to uh, emerge and only finished the season with four and a half sacks. But if you look at his production, he was disrupting the passing game. He was making it easy for the defense. He wasn't quite a starter, but he was good on the rotation. Like, he was somebody you could depend on. Like, he could be a starter for sure. But what was like, uh, what was the thought of him signing with the Chiefs? It, it, it was more like, you know, the Chiefs offer something, and I think the Chiefs are going to get a hell of a good player, bro. So I think the Chiefs are building a a solid foundation on defense, bro. And I think Amenahu is just, dude, he's just scratching the surface. I think he's only going to get better the more he plays. And I think his talent speaks for itself. Like, he was a cast-off from the Texans. And the Texans were going through a rebuild, and they gave us this player for a late-round pick and... We mold this kid into something. And Charles Amenahu was becoming really good. And I had a feeling this was going to be a tough one, bro. Because I knew McGlinchey was going to leave because he, he priced himself out. And I heard a lot of reports that Amenahu might have priced, uh, priced himself out too. But I didn't think he would go to the Chiefs. I thought he would go to another team that was terrible or... Or potentially going back to Houston. I thought that was going to be the case. But it, it surprised me that he went to the Chiefs. Out of all the other teams. I guess he couldn't pass off the opportunity, bro. You go to the you go to the defending Super Bowl champions Chiefs. And you get a pretty nice contract. So you get a $10 million contract per year. You sign two years with them. And you get to play for a team that's contending for a Super Bowl year in and year out. You, you can't be upset about that, man. I think the Chiefs are trying to. Build a nice foundation. And sometimes defense do win championship, but Amenahu was just scratching the surface. And I think he was only going to get better. So his production will will be there because he's got some guys to help him around. But it's not going to be exactly the same what he had in San Francisco. But I think the production of him pressuring the quarterback, it's still going to be there. He's still going to disrupt the, the quarterbacks. He's still going to make some plays here and there. But he's going he's gonna to be a starter. So that's my thoughts of that, you know. So for anybody else that wants to leave a question, be sure to leave a question in the comments and I'll do my best to leave a reaction. But uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Grandizer for asking this question. My reaction on Charles Amenehu, his, his, uh, his departed in free agency was a little bit of a loss. We always tend to find some players like that and they come and go. But was he a huge loss? Nah. A little bit of a loss. But I think we'll find somebody to fill that role. So I think we'll be alright. But as always guys, I'll keep y'all posted and have a good day.